So my best friend's baby shower is in two days and I'm gonna be making a baby shower gift. Um, I went for like a jungle theme. So these are like some of the onesies. Um, I honestly got a lot more than I was planning to. And then I got this cute little Yoda sweatsuit and three more. I got some in three months and some in newborn um, because I'm sure she's just gonna have so many newborn clothes. And then I got some wipes and diapers to fill up the basket and this baby petroleum. I got a cute card that matches. Um, this foaming dish and bottle soap, uh, breast milk storage bags, bottles. And then here are some of the things I'm decorating it with. I got this $12 crate from uh, Michael's and it's really big. And then I got the naming letters. I got the paint. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do uh, what color yet, honestly. And then I have this cute green ribbon. And this is actually like a folding rack, but it fits perfect in there. I have this felt. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I got it in a $5 grab bag a while ago. I have these light up like leaves, which I thought would be adorable. Um, and then I have this sparkly paper. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I have these vines. I might end up getting more. And then I have a uh, colored tissue paper and this colored construction paper. So I don't know if I want it to go like this or more like this, it fills it up more. And then also I have this powder blue. I don't know if I wanna uh, paint the crate this powder blue. It's like a satin finish too. Or if I wanna paint it a white so it's more neutral. And then the letters blue, I, I'm still deciding. Especially because the rack is like a metal white. So I'm not sure. So it's actually a pretty mild blue. So I think I'm gonna paint it blue and then do the white lettering and we'll see how it looks. So one coat did actually like weirdly well. Um, it's really, it's a really pretty blue and it dried darker actually. Um, and, but there's still like little nooks and I'd like to fill like this, this part up with the paint and like some of the sides and then you can still see like some of the darker parts of the wood. So I'm gonna go one more coat and then it will be ready. So I finished painting it and if anyone is going to recreate this, I used um, two, two fluid ounces of paint. So four fluid ounces total. So here are the letters and I'm just gonna be painting them this snow white color. So I've been painting these letters and it is incredibly hard. Um, so if you can get the painted ones, I'd, I'd do that because these are a lot harder than expected. And like, even when I put the paint down, uh, you can see it. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll figure it out though. You definitely don't have to do this, but I'm a little bit extra. So I'm making uh, matching hangers out of a thick uh, glittery cardstock just so they all match because yeah. This turned out so cute. And now I'm gonna see if it actually works. Okay, so this is absolutely adorable and I love how it shows the name. Oh my gosh. Well, I mirrored it and now I have two sides of the hanger. It matches up perfect and I'm gonna hot glue them together. So I ran out of glitter paper. So it's this is like gold metallic backing. So this is the hangers in their final form. Um, the metallic ones didn't end up as well. You can see the glitter ones are thicker and I would definitely use hot glue because it made them thicker and more sturdy. So this is what it looks like. You can see the little cute hangers um, and then the clothing rack inside of the box. I still need to kind of like touch up some of these letters and then I'm gonna put them on there and then I'm gonna put all the gifts inside there so i'm not sure if i want to hot glue this part down it does like kind of move 
but I want her to be able to take it out and like use this as a toy box or something if she wants. So I don't know. <laughs> so here are all the clothes. Look how cute they are. Got all the onesies and all the hangers. I am missing one hanger and I pray I find it. So, but how cute is that? So I put the vines on, I'm loving it. The little jungle vibe. <laughs> I also, if you're gonna do this, I definitely hot glued the vines on, like just a little bit. So she can still take it off, but uh, so they stay in place. So I added these little fairy lights in the shape of like golden leaves to it. And I'm kind of like iffy <laughs> whether I like it or not, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna see how it looks. They're only $5 from Target. So I picked them up because I thought they'd add a lot to the, to the theme, but that's what it looks like so far. So I'm adding this huge thing of blue felt. Uh, maybe she can use it. Otherwise it'll look good to like kind of plump it up, but um, otherwise it'll just look good because it matches the theme. But I got this in like a $5 grab bag and I don't know what else I'd use it for. So here we are. Oh my gosh, how cute, it's coming together. I put all the hangers on there and you can see his little name. And I love how it all matches. I'm missing my other golden hanger so I'm one hanger short, but it, I love it. I was thinking about adding clothes on this rack too, but it just became too busy. And now I'm just adding kind of like the bigger products onto the smaller products. So this is it. I still have to add the name, but I love how it filled up. It filled up perfectly. I got her some diapers, a lot of baby wipes, and cute packaging. And then there's this, which I don't know where the hangers to, and some little baby sweatpants, um, breast milk storage bags, this like bottle soap, a couple bottles. And here it is. I went for like a forest, a foresty theme, and I love it. I added the letters on with wall mounting tape and I stuck some tissue paper in there and the card. And it honestly looks like it's straight from Pinterest. I'm incredibly happy with it. Sadly, I didn't take any videos from the party, but I got lots of compliments on it. A lot of people said it looked like it was from Pinterest and my best friend absolutely loved it. If this brought you any value at all, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. Bye.